Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Sports Dungeon. I'm your host, Lauren Tepper. Today, I told you we're talking about all-star baseball. We've got the 15-year-old coaches here and the players. This ought to be exciting. I've done forewarned them that there are no rules when they're on here. They'll be up next here, and uh, but I have to be nice because my son here, Cody, is uh, here, and he. Uh, this is like pulling teeth to get him to come on the TV show. He's done it a few times, and uh, he doesn't like it, but that's all right. I'll mess with him. Coach, we have Coach Coffee here from Green Forest, and uh, I promise not to say any secrets about Coach Coffee. And Coach Horn, the two guys have uh, led the way for a third place finish in the Arkansas Babe Ruth 15 year old state tournament. Coaches, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Uh, we have one other coach that we had, uh, Jared Frederick. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jared and Michael did a good job with them in district because I can't coach them during the dead period. So we need to make sure Jared gets mentioned on that. Too. So you were dead too? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, Coach, uh, you also uh, coached the Green Forest team, is that right? Any yes, comments sir. about that? Uh, we, uh, we were awful young this year, and we're looking for a lot better turnaround next year. That's all you want to say, right? Yeah. <laughs> I won't put you on the spot. Coach Horn, uh, you want to talk anything about it? I'll give you a chance to talk about uh, North Ark real quick, if there's anything you want to say. Yeah, North Ark was great. Got the coach there for three years. Took a year off because my mom was sick and not sure what I'm going to do next year. I'd like to keep coaching at North Ark or maybe get into coaching high school. So That'd be all right. North Ark this year, uh, just a little note, had the player of the year, Division yeah. Two Junior College Player of the Year. Yeah, had a very good player, Lester Clark. These guys have been asking me about him all week. Works very hard. You know, when he came in, hadn't played in a couple of years, we worked with him. Got him swinging the buster bat. You know, hit the ball a lot in the cage, came out. Did a great job this year. That's good. All right, let's talk about this group here. This guy's, uh, you got a couple of American Legion players. You got a couple of kids that just played league ball that were thrown together on the, uh, out of from the Arkansas. Uh, Arkansas from the Harrison Parks and Recreations uh, Babe Ruth League this year. And uh, you threw this team together, went out to the districts, and uh, had a little fun with it. Coach, you didn't get to participate too much in that, did you? I was a scorekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a little fun with that, right? Horn went over to Rogers, played at uh, um, played, over there. Played Northwest, which is the old high school field. Mm -hmm. A lot of galvin has been to the high school field over there. So we got to play there, and we had a lot of fun, basically, had maybe two, three practices before we went over there. Didn't even have a didn't practice have, with all of them didn't together. Even, didn't even get a chance to get the Legion guys in because they weren't Enid until the morning we got there. So we basically went on the field and took infield the first time together at Rogers. And we did a great job. The guys came out, you know, threw the ball to the cutoff man, did what we asked them to do. Did a great job. Got it. You know, at first when I looked at the bracket and saw the draw of Jay, Oklahoma, I thought, man, any team coming out of Oklahoma would be pretty good. I, I mean, that, that was the perception that if you're coming out of Oklahoma, you're going to be a competitive baseball team. Unfortunately, the draw worked to our advantage. Uh, what a way to open a game, 35, 32 to 5. I don't even know what the score yeah. was. It, it was just a whole lot to nothing, let's say that. Yeah, we came out and, like you said, Oklahoma – Played a lot of Oklahoma teams in North Arkansas, and they're always very good. So we came out, and they actually came up on us two to nothing, I think, in the first inning. We came out, battled back. I think at the first inning, it might have been four to two, something like that. Something. Then we erupted, batted around yeah. three times in the next inning, and it was just, uh, it was. I hate yeah. to say this as a fan, uh, and, my, and these kids are playing, and no offense to them, but them are painful games to watch. They are. We actually had a time where Shaver sitting over there, I went over and told Lane to. Bunt the ball just so we could get an out a couple times. And I told uh, I told one of our kids to step on the plate and hit the ball. Yeah. It, so that he could be out. I mean, it was it, it got to that. It, it got to that point. It did. And then we made it to the finals. Um, had to play Fayetteville, who ed ultimately ended up being the state champion. They were a very good quality team. Very played good. them over at Veterans Park, uh, but uh, but our. Uh, a short of arms came through. We, we hung with them for a couple of innings, but the fact is that uh, uh, the pitching staff on this team just ran out of gas. And uh, it's no offense to them, but when you have to play that many games and uh, there's only so many innings in their arms. Yeah, they, we, uh, they did a great job, though. That, actually, that was the first time I got to come back and, and be a part of them mm -hmm. was then during that after the dead period right then. And, uh, yeah, we just, you know, you can pitch seven innings in two consecutive games, mm -hmm. but... 
the thing that I saw throughout this whole tournament was that people just didn't keep track of pitches. And I tried to be real mindful of the pitches that the kids threw. You know, when we got into the state and we played Bentonville, man, they had a kid that pitched six innings against us and then turned around and pitched seven innings the next game. And I don't know how that kid yeah, that, that, arm was not killing him. Yeah. And that's too much. You know, we when we were when the state tournament was held here out at the community first sports complex, uh, we do keep track of their innings and uh, but it's the coaches to keep track of what we're doing. You know, I don't I don't keep it up in the scorebooks. We write it up on the uh, on the bracket, and it's the coaches' turns to, to keep uh, to keep doing. Well, we came over to the state tournament, you guys. Because you're the host city, you had to play the play-in game. You had that extra game, which created a problem when you started to actually get into the first round. And uh, you opened up with a tough game. The Fort Smith uh, Church team was. Uh, was a little bit tougher, even though they were the first team eliminated. It was a, that was a pretty interesting game, but the, the boys put on their rally socks. They did. We actually, maybe sixth inning, I think we were tied one to one. Mm -hmm. Had a situation, bases loaded, had Jenner coming up the bat, and two outs, and they got us out. Little ball that Jenner really wanted to hit hard didn't go what we wanted to do, and we came off the field. It could have been really easy to quit right there, and Jones comes in and. He's the first guy cheering everybody else up and went out, did a good job through strikes. We came back and got a bunch of runs. And, yeah. and then, uh, uh, unfortunately, though, that really was a rough deal. And these guys think that, that, that you, you're on them for one yeah. reason. But that game cost you an inning of pitching because yeah. you, you, you're, uh, you're nine runs ahead. Yeah. The 10th run sends you home and you get, you get out of the game and play that extra inning. Yeah. What a what a rough deal that is at times. Yeah, yeah but still, I mean, I think uh, you know we brought Wyatt in, and Wyatt, I think he threw nine or ten yeah. pitches. Yeah, Wyatt in that looked on. I, yeah, there was ten pitches. I think he threw nine for strikes, and it was yeah. uh, it was a good deal. Then you played P Ridge. You advanced into the uh, the finals. You played P Ridge, beat them. Played Bentonville again. Mercy ruled them again, um, which had been a team that, uh, for some reason. You know, I don't. I don't like to get on. It's very quickly up in the scorebooks to like and dislike teams. It's 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 part of being the announcer. You go down there, how the coaches treat you, how the fans treat you, uh, and I don't want to say you know good or bad about certain teams, but there are teams you just root for, and there are teams you that uh, you're sitting up in the press box and you. Uh, uh, I don't want to say get tougher scoring on, but you you. you <laughs> To see them go by the wayside, you necessarily don't mind that, okay? I'll, I'll be honest with you. And, and that's, I don't care who you talk to, uh, it's just kind of the way it works out. Bentonville happened to be a team that um, um, at the districts was arguing about the, what dugout they yeah. were in. And, yeah. I, and that quickly turned me into something to say, guys, this isn't, this isn't worth fighting about and arguing about. Anyways, you played them in the, uh, in the semifinals of the, of the state tournament, uh, advanced to the finals, played Fayetteville, uh, hung with them for a while. All of a sudden, they just kind of opened up. That, that team, is they're very good. They, they're, they are solid. I mean, you know, you'd like to say one kid on there is, you know, better than another. But, man, they were just – I mean, I'll tell you this, though. Their shortstop is one, mm -hmm. one good ball player. But then they've got all these other guys that go with him. Their center fielder made a great play going over his shoulder, running back toward mm -hmm. the fence. Mm -hmm. uh, but that shortstop, I mean, I think it was Wyatt that, that hit the ball and there's a little dink in the left field, and that kid goes running back and dives and catches the ball. And that, was, that was a great play. And, and I'll talk about the Fayetteville, the Fayetteville game that you played, and I talked to their coach about this last night when I was with them. They scored all ten runs with two outs. Yep. It was a difference of getting the, the time we hit. All ten of their runs were scored with two outs. Unbelievable. I hadn't seen that, and it was kind of an odd stat to keep track of, but uh, all 10 of their runs were scored with two outs. The difference is we couldn't get that hit or that, you know, the, they couldn't make the error at that point to, to push that run across um, and went there. Um, the one thing that, and, I, and I'll move quickly because we're almost out of time out of this segment, uh, we dropped down, we lose to them, dropped down to the loser's bracket, got to play Mountain Home. A couple of mental mistakes uh, that we talked about a little bit afterward. Um, tagging up on a fly ball, man, I'll tell you what, that, that, that hurts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it does, you know, but, you know, the thing that I had to, you know, my son Dalton plays on the team, so I get to talk with him a lot <laughs> about all of it. And the thing that we, you know, that I tried to reiterate to him was 
there were enough things that happened that everybody mm-hmm. made oh. mistakes that yeah. you can't you can't single just one kid out and all that. No. And I do I do want to point this out. I always talk to kids about being leaders and and doing things and and showing leadership. And this is always going to stick with me the rest of my career. After we had just gotten beaten, we come into the dugout and everybody's down and Jenner Jones yeah. jumps up and he says, "Wait a minute, guys." He says, don't anybody be down. We were down six to nothing, mm-hmm. and we came yeah. back, and we almost won this right. game. And to me right there, that's leadership. Yeah. And it, any of you guys who are out there who are playing, remember that. You pull people up with you, and they'll go with you, you know. And that was that's something I'm always going to remember. And, and the thing you got to like about that is is that they didn't quit. Even they got down right. six, they didn't quit. They never thought they were out of the game. Uh, very easily could have rolled over and said, yeah. ah, this mm-hmm. is we're going to be done. But they didn't. They quit. They fought back. Um, and had a chance to win. I mean, it was. Uh, but the thing that I liked best about Jenner, and, I, and I'll bring this up because I was going to bring this up when I was going to interview him, and uh, I won't. Uh, I'll bring up this point. The thing that you guys had gone that day, nine innings without scoring. Probably your best hitter, hitter, and your leader takes a page out of the movie Major League and lays down a bunt for a oh, base yeah. hit. You had to change up what was happening, the philosophy, so that you could maybe something could change because you obviously weren't getting it. You had to manufacture a run to think that you could actually push a run across the yeah. plate. He lays down a bunt, gets a base hit. You guys put something on the score table. Yeah. All of a sudden, you know, the ball changes your way and you do something different. That's showing what uh, what the difference is. Well, guys, I appreciate you being on here. I appreciate you talking. But uh, the real highlight of these kids, and we're going to bring them on here yeah. in a minute. We're going to take a short break. We come back. We're going to meet these 15-year-old kids, and we're going to see what kind of fun we can have with them. We'll be right back.